A well-designed portfolio website can be a game-changer for showcasing your talent as an artist and building a strong online presence. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to easily create your own 100% free artist portfolio website in just five simple steps using Wix and its beginner-friendly drag-and-drop editor. Although all the steps in this tutorial can be completed with a 100% free Wix account, I will also share a bonus tip on how to save 50% on most premium plans if you want to have a professional domain or some of the premium features. So, let's get started. Click on the link in the description below to arrive at the sign-up page. To create a 100% free account, you must add your email address and click Start Now. On the next page, create your password. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google account. Wix provides a permanently free basic plan that includes hosting, a template, a website editor, and a free subdomain. This offer is not commonly found among website builders, which is why we strongly recommend Wix if you're looking to build a 100% free artist portfolio website. After clicking Sign Up, you arrive at this page. If you are building the website for yourself, your business, or a friend, choose the first option. Here, you can more fully describe your topic to receive better template recommendations. For purposes of this video, we will pretend we are building a portfolio website for a photographer. Next, choose a template that best suits your style and needs. Once you have found a template you like, select it and choose your desired color scheme. Then, click Save and Continue. Now it's time to add the apps that you want to have on your website. You likely already have an idea of what you need, but in case you need some guidance, we've conducted an analysis of what pages and apps are typically found on artist websites. Our analysis has shown that the majority of artist websites include an art portfolio, Instagram feed, and a blog. But don't worry, if you're unsure about which sections and features to include, you can choose these options as a starting point and make changes or additions later on as needed. Once you've added your desired apps, click Go to Dashboard. Congratulations! You've completed the first step. The dashboard you see before you is where you will manage all settings related to your website. You can connect a domain or begin optimizing your website to make it easier to get found on Google. But first, we must create the website. To do this, click on Design Site. Let's quickly discuss the editor features that are most relevant to you when starting out. You can always return to your dashboard by clicking on the Wix logo in the upper left corner. Click Save after making any changes you like. Click Preview to see how other users see your website. When ready to launch your website, simply click Publish. We will provide more information about this in the last step of this tutorial. The search bar is helpful should you have a question or want a new section or feature for your website. The Zoom feature allows you to zoom in and out to get a better picture of your overall website design. Immediately next to it are the Redo and Undo features, which are helpful if you made a mistake. You are most likely aware of this feature from your use of other tools like Word or PowerPoint. Later we will address how to connect your own domain. This feature allows you to switch between the desktop and mobile views for your website. Next to that, this feature lets you switch between your different website pages. To add something to your website or change general things, for example colors, Click on the sidebar on the left. We are now ready to begin customizing your website. Typically, a website consists of three things. One, the general design or structure. Two, the color scheme. And three, the content, for example, text, images, and videos. Templates like the one we have chosen don't require you to build everything by yourself. Instead, you can start with one you really like and then customize it to meet your needs. This speeds up the process, making it easier and more efficient. Let's start with the headline. Click on the title and change it. You can also change the color, font, font size, and more. Let's also quickly change the logo, and now the footer. Let's also quickly edit the About page to show you how easy it is. Go to the Page menu in the top left corner. Select the About page. First, let's change the picture and add one of Adam Gibbs, our fictional photographer. To do this, click on the picture, then on Change Image. 
You can now upload your own images or search within the free library of images provided by Wix. To change the crop of the image, double-click on it and change it. That looks good. Another great Wix feature is its AI text generator. If you click on a text and then on Create AI Text, you can open the AI Text Creator. Simply add a business type, choose the topic of the text and a few details, and click Create Text. You will now get three different AI-generated versions you can use for free by clicking on Use Text. Isn't it great how easy it is to build a professional-looking website nowadays? To add something to your website, you have three different options. Add a new page by clicking on the Pages and Menu icon. Add a new section to an existing page by clicking on the Add Section icon. Add an element to an existing section of an existing page by clicking on Add Elements. This is what we are going to do now. Let's say we want to add our social media profile links below our About Me text. To do this, click on Add Elements, then Social, and then add the social bar you want. I am going with this one. As we are building an artist portfolio website, let's take a closer look at the portfolio feature offered by Wix for this type of website. To do this, select the portfolio subpage in the page menu and double click on the portfolio section to open its settings. This app, specifically designed to manage your portfolio, is very easy to work with. First, you can add your projects, which consist of a title, a description, some optional information, and media. If you have many projects, you can group them into collections like Wedding, Nature, and Portrait. Each collection has a title, a description, cover image, and the projects you want to include in that collection. That's it! By clicking on the Design icon, you can also change the appearance of the portfolio page and customize its design. When you are happy with your website, you can now click on the Preview button in the top right corner. I recommend you review every page for desktop and mobile to ensure it all looks good. To change something, simply click on Back to Editor. For instance, I want to delete the search bar on mobile. We can quickly do this by using the Mobile Editor, which you can always access by clicking on the Mobile icon in the menu. It's important to note that any position and styling changes you do on mobile won't affect your desktop view, so you can optimize both views independently from each other. Once you have reviewed all your pages on both devices, there is only one last step left, choosing a domain name and publishing the website. To do this, click on the blue Publish button in the top right corner. You will now see a pop-up window that gives you two options. If you want to continue with the free Wix plan, you can now choose the last part of the website address. In this case, people find your website by entering this URL into any web browser. If you already have a professional domain name, you must upgrade to a premium plan to connect your domain to your website. If you do not have a professional domain name but would like one, you can do this through Wix by choosing one of their premium plans, which also allows you to get rid of the Wix ad you can see on all free websites. Furthermore, you will receive tons of additional features. As promised, Here's the bonus tip on how to save 50% on the premium plans. Wix typically promotes a 50% discount offer every week. If you don't see one after signing up, we recommend building your website, publishing it with the free plan, and then waiting for the 50% offer. It should not take more than one week to get notified. We have now completed every step in our process, making you well prepared to build your own stunning artist portfolio website, if you haven't already. If you have any feedback or questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It would mean the world to us and really helps us to make these videos. Thanks and good luck with your website.